get this. Now let's go to our, our text. And it came to pass when he drew near into Bethpage and Bethany. Bethpage, the word Bethpage or the name Bethpage means the house of unripe figs. The house of unripe figs. So he enters into Bethpage, a house of unripe figs. Unripe figs got potential, but they still desire to be what? Nature. For them to ripen up. Are you with me? So he enters, the first place he enters is Beth Page. A house of unripe figs. So these figs are there, but they are unripe. So you cannot just, unless if you are from Durban, you can pluck them and pickle them. But here, they're not talking about pickling them. They're talking about eating them. So you can't eat an unripe fig because it's not tasty to eat an unripe fig. So in this stage that you do not pick them, but you wait for them to mature. But you don't wait looking at them. You wait for them while doing what? Nurturing them. And so that is why saints, we need to nurture the young ones that are with us, we need to nurture the new ones that are coming in. Because why? You're looking at the future of that person. You're not looking at the now. Are you with me? When you come into Grace Tabernacle, it's your future that I look at more than your now. Because now when you come, you messed up. Now when you come, things don't go well. Now when you come, you got all types of squelet. Now when you come, you got all kinds of enemies. Now when you come, you swear like a trooper. Now when you come, you... But I will not look at what you're doing now. Because I am looking at your future. I'm looking at nurturing you to your fullness, nurturing you to your full potential because you are a house. Don't you know that this body is the house of the Holy Spirit? So you are the house of unripe figs. So those figs need to be ripe enough so that other people can eat of you, can be blessed by you, can be nurtured by you, can be encouraged Encouraged by you. House of unripe 